يستكفر يسالون لماذا اهل لهم قل اهل لكم الطيبات او مسنجر اوف الله او محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ذيس بيبل ار اسكينج يو وات از پرميسيبل فور ذيم tell them all the good and pure things قل لكم الطيبات all the things which are good and pure وما علمت من الجوارح مكلبين and which you train you know the birds of prey and the animals of prey they used to pray and they used to hunt through dogs or the birds of prey they train them so that they can catch other birds and then then it becomes you know a food for you so you train them mimma allamakumullah out of that knowledge which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you you could train your dog for this hunting only because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you the faculty of doing it you could train only this bird of prey for hunting because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you the capacity to do it fakulu mimma amsakna alaykum now what is the training that dog will capture some rabbit or something of that type but won't eat it because that is the training it will keep that animal for the master to come and then you know he will make ziba so actually amsakna alaykum whatever they have retained for you and kept for you was qurus ma allah alayhi and now you take the name of allah on that but taqullah and have taqwa of allah have regard of allah remain conscious of allah in allah sariul hisab allah is very swift in taking account don't think he will have to go under hard labor to take the account of all the billions and billions and trillions and trillions of people he is very swift his computers you know they are very top most computer you can't imagine in instance you know all the account and all the your your balance sheet would be prepared and presented to you iqra kitab kafa bi nafsika al yawma alayka hasiba now go and read you this is the balance sheet you have al yawma uhilla lakum at tayyibat wa at ta'am al ladina utul kitaba hillu lakum This day we have declared for you permissible all the pure and good things. What Abu Lazim na utul kitab ahilul lakum, and the food of those people who were given book before you. Now let me explain here. Some people are saying today, and I think it is not without any weight of argument, that even Hindus are Hindus of India. They are people of the book. in one way it is i think it is acceptable why because we know to every region of the world allah subhanahu wa taala sent prophets and messengers wa li kulli qaumin had wa min qaryatin illa khala fiha nadhir and we find you know similarities in their books the upanishads and the vedas the prophecies about muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they are present in vedas so actually they also belong to the ummah of some messenger of allah and you know a french researcher dubois he studied the hindu scriptures in india for 40 long years and he wrote a book and he concluded that manu the god of the hindus is actually mahanu nu they are actually the people of nu alai salatu wassalam because in their traditions also there is you know the mention of a big flood and that on a uh, on some you know kashti some people came here due to that flood and then you know started the civilization in india so this is a piece of research work but we can't be sure about these things there might be essence in these views and in these theories but you know the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam declared only the yahud and the nasara as the people of the book so we can't be sure about any other nation but maybe possibly it is it is just possible there is weight in their argument in their theories but we can't be sure as i told you that maybe that gautam budh was also a nabi of allah a prophet of allah maybe krishna krishna was a uh, nabi of allah it's just possible don't look to what is attributed to them today 
Had Quran not told us about Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam, how could we accept Hazrat Masih alayhi salam as a messenger of Allah if we had known everything about him through Christians? Only because we know him through Quran. That is why we have accepted him as the messenger of Allah. Otherwise, he is the God of the Christians. How could we accept him as the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So don't go to the things which are attributed to them. We can't say that whatever is attributed to Gautam Buddha is correct. But maybe they were also a biya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we can't be sure. Only about those whose name appear in Quran, we are sure that they are, they were the prophets of Allah, messengers of Allah. But the possibility is there, but we can't be sure about any individual. So the people of book are only the Jews and the Christians. And the food of these people also who were given the book before you, that is also permissible for you to eat. But it should conform to do the other regulations. Not because they are eating swine, you can also take it. No, that is haram. But you know, if a Jew has slaughtered a goat, well, although he is not taking the name of Allah, but you know that it must be slaughtered. Not that the head has been chopped off, you know. No, that will become haram again. But you know this kosher meat as you know. Because they slaughter it in the same way. Cutting only the, short, the soft parts of the neck. So that is halal for you. And in the same way if a Christian is doing it. But those two conditions will remain. It must be tazkiyah. It must be slaughtering in the way that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught us. And then the animal should be permissible it, itself. So then actually you can eat the, the flesh or the meat that is presented to you by the Christian. And your food is also permissible for them to eat. And women of strong family background. Muhsanat. Hisn, I told you, is a fortress. Now a woman belongs to a family, a respectable family. That background, you know, is, is very important. Not a prostitute. If a prostitute, if, if she is a Christian, or, or she is a Jew and you go and marry her. No, no. It must be belonging to a respectable family. It must be a muhsana. So muhsanat from among the Mormons, from among Muslims. And in the same way, the women of these people, the Jews and Christians who belong to respectable families, they are also permissible. You can marry them. When you pay them their dowry, their bridal money, Mohsenin, and you also want to have them in the, in the fortress of Nikah. Ghaira Musafihin, not only for timely pleasure and, and sensual gratification. Wala muttakhizi akhdan, and nor to take them as girlfriends. No, it should be Nikah, regular Nikah. You want to marry her, you want to keep her now in the fortress of your nikah, then only it is permissible. And whosoever unbelieves with the belief, what does it mean? Yakfur bil iman. He claims to be a momin, but he is acting as an unbeliever. His deeds are of the unbelievers. فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالْإِيمَانِ فَقَدْ حَبِتَ عَمَلُهُ All his good deeds go in vain. It's the same subject which we found, you know, in Surah Al-Baqarah. بَلَا مَنْ كَسَبَ سَيِّئَةً وَأَحَاطُتْ بِهِ خَطِيَتُهُ فَأُولَاكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِهُ Your profession that you profess to be Muslim, well, that is not going to be acceptable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you have did. What was your attitude? Were you acting like a Mormon? Were you behaving like a Muslim? So only Iman by tongue and lip service. But your actions, your character, your behavior, your attitude, those of unbelievers. Now because you have said some prayers also and because you have sacrificed goats on the Eid al-Azha also, all these things are good. But all these good things go in vain. The biggest sum multiplied by zero becomes zero. 
it might be any heap of virtues maybe like a mountain of virtuous acts but you know even one thing bala man kasaba sayyatan willfully doing something which is not per- allowed and permissible willfully doing it and continuing it continuing doing it if you have done something wrong and then you repent and return to allah allah is forgiving but if you are continuing 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 doing it continuously then only one major sin can also take you to 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 the fire of hell and that also eternally bala man kasaba sayyatan wa hatat bihi khatiyatuhu fa ulaik ashabun narihum fiha khalid we can't leave this business and we can't do it without banks and we have to go and have overdraft and we must do it but we are saying our prayers we go to you know makka every year we come there you know we are purified there every year but this condition this this attitude absolutely wrong allah subhanahu wa taala will never accept it bala man kasaba sayyatan all good virtues zero multiplied zero zero become zero how habit amal which is called habt amal all the your deeds good deeds have gone multiplied by zero wa huwa fil akhirati min al khasirin and he will be in the hereafter among the losers 